Okay, so here's the MST Synfrotec VCO. I'll start at the top and work down for the features. We've got cost tuning, an octave switch, down an octave, center octave, and up an octave. And then got fine tune as well. We've got manual pulse width modulation, which we'll come to when we get to the square, a pulse wave amount. A little adjust a trimmer there, which is volt per octave adjustment. Modulation one amount and a second modulation in. The volt per octave, it's a nice clean sign. Triangle wave, saw, saw wave an octave up, and square, the PWM. This thing, PWM. We'll also work straight into mod 2. For FM audio rate as well, which we'll look at later, and you've got mod 1. The attenuator in as well. Alright, so let's look at a PWM style bass patch with the oscillator. We've got the auto switch still, manual pulse width, pulse width modulation coming from this disting, lovely rich sound. Let's turn the bias down on our VCA. Turn up the CV modulation from an envelope. Now without the PWM. Move down a filters cut off, which is patched before the VCA. Really nice, thick, square bass sound. Okay, so I'm coming out of the sine wave, straight into a VCA, and this has just been triggered by an envelope as part of the sequence. Um, the triangle, slightly richer sound, is also gonna work well in this patch, but sticking with the sine, we've got a volt per octave sequence, and the second oscillator, which you can just see on the right hand of that screen is the Happy Nerdin HMVCO. Now, this is just static and not tracking any pitch. If I turn up the modulation depth, completely full. Now, if I actually get that tracking pitch as well, These nice glassy FM tones that are actually staying more melodic and harmonious because the carrier and the modulator in that FM patch are both tracking the same pitch. A triangle. Bit fizzier. Sticking with a sign. With a mod one input. have less of that modulation amount. With mod 2, that's just full range modulation. Sticking that in mod 2, I'm quite happy with the tuning and the ratios and indexes in the FM patch. Let's go through the other wave. So the square is going to be pretty brutal. Putting this in mod 1, that's the square as is. Full modulation. Great way for creating overtones and lots of very gritty harmonics in the top, which works great with the filter. Turn that down, here's a saw. That's the plus one saw. Normal saw. 
like the square, you can make that a bit more dissonant, grey, really fat. Let's actually run this through a filter. Works great with that filter. So to finish on, I'm just going to look at using the oscillator into a mixer, then a filter, then a delay, which I play around with in the patch. I've got a triangle wave, a saw wave, and a saw plus one. I'm going to play around with these levels on the mixer so you can hear that playing that melody. Now first, I'll open up the filter. So that's a triangle. Saw plus one. And saw. Stick with the triangle, turn down the filter. It's been modulated by an envelope. Let's turn up the saw plus one. Let's actually clip these a bit in the mixer. Add some delay. Play with the levels again, just turn the triangle down. Normal saw up. Triangle up. So I'll turn the delay down. Nice lo fi delay. Let's drop this an octave. Tune that lower. So there's that triangle thick woody sort of subtone. You can add that plus one saw. To have that low bass note cut. And if I turn down the plus one saw and turn up the normal saw, bit of a lower brassy trumpety sort of farty sound. But if we actually turn up the plus one, you can use that to a definition to an otherwise really low bass sound. So let's jam around with that like a bass. Delay back up. So I think the key with this VCO is it just sounds great, it works great. PWM and FM sound really good as well. It takes to audio rate modulation really well if you want to throw lots at it as well. As always, hit like and subscribe for more videos every week and check the Patreon link in the description to see how you can support my channel.